Okay, welcome back to Roulette Profit and Stop here on YouTube. On this recording, this is my uh, going to be session number six. Session five, I made four pound profit. Session six is on its way now. I've got thirty pounds and fifty pence. Looking to make a minimum of one pound and see where it takes us. I've currently made twenty five pound fifty profit on top of my five pound deposit. I'm at thirty pounds fifty pence. I'll bring you. I'll update this uh, end balance. Hopefully once I've made a few units. I'm going to be using the missing section roulette tool. And I'm going to input the history of numbers from this table. Into the tool. So click to play. 17, 17, 12. 13, 16. 10, 21. Uh, 4, 4. Some repeaters there. 20, 9, 26. And 11. Okay, so I've caught up with this dealer. Um, this deal is showing uh, that I might get a win straight away. 20 peach stake and playing on the dozens and the rows. First target is to get a pound, one pound profit. So let's go, I'm going to input a few more numbers. Okay, so 30 to 36 is highlighted 14. That's my first bet. It's a 40 pence bet. Take note of how much I'm spending here. These are section numbers 1 to 9, 10 to 19, 20 to 29, 30 to 36. They're your section numbers, which means um, once they hit a value of 14 or 15, they're your betting values, 14, 15. Then you don't bet again until it gets to 22 onwards. So it's not hit for 14 spins. I'm 30 to 36. And I'm on 28 to 36. And it's 24. So we've got a couple of areas I could bet on. Um, I'm just going to concentrate on doing this again. So repeat the bet. It's going to cost me another 40 pence. Now if this misses, I've spent 80 pence in total. And then I'm going to put an 80 pence bet on this bottom row if that misses. So if this, thir if this 30 to 36 misses and the bottom row misses, then my next bet will be 80 pence on this bottom row. <clears throat> so I'm on 28 to 36, 31, 32 and 33 are my jackpot numbers, so 28 to 36, second bet, 25, that's just, that's a hit on the third dozen unfortunately, and it's um, got rid of that 30 to 36, uh, so now what I'm going to wait for the next opportunity to place a bet, so if this 30 to 36 reaches a value of 22, it's going to highlight blue again, and then we're going to play the inside gameplay where we just cover the individual numbers 30 to 36, the seven numbers 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36 as straight ups until I get a hit. Um, but that's only if it goes to 22 because it might hit now. Nope. Okay, so while we're waiting for that to get to 22, we're looking for um, dozens and rolls as well. So my next bet will be 80 pence because I've spent 80 pence on 28 to 36. I don't have to wait for a dozen in a row. I could do an outside bet. I could do a low, even, red, odd, black um, and high number with a, a cost of 80 pence just so I get that back so it's not cost me anything. Um... But I don't want to do that at the minute. Because I think we're going to be good for this bet when it gets to 22, which is what I want to show. Because I don't think I've shown you that yet on this live session, or on this recorded session, so they say. So it'll be a good thing to see. As soon as it gets to 22, so it misses the 30 to 36 for 22 spins, it's going to highlight blue. And it'll stay active, highlighted blue until it hits after 22 onwards. So, we don't want to see 30 to 36. Fantastic. Where are we as well with the dozens? Three on the third, three on the bottom. So, getting close to 22. So, if it misses for three more spins and doesn't hit 30 to 36, we're going to be doing the straight ups on 30 to 36, which I'm kind of excited about because 
Uh, this is going to give me the winning balance, I think, potentially. What I found out on my gameplay is that um, if it doesn't hit on your 14th and 15th spin where it's not hit a, um, a section number, it normally goes on a bit of a losing run to, and keeps missing them, which is what it's doing. <coughs> and um, it does it for quite a while before it starts to hit again, so... This is what you're seeing at the minute. This is what I'm used to seeing on a section number when it does not hit on the 14th and 15th bet. You know, 14th and 15th spin where it's not hit. It seems to go on a bit of a... It goes a bit airwall for a bit. So... Twenty-two, see, fantastic. So we're on twenty-one. If it misses the third dozen here, that's going to highlight blue. So what I'll do is I'm going to be covering thirty to thirty-six straight ups anyway. I'm probably going to do the, I'll do the splits as well, or I might put a lesser value on the others. I'm not too sure. I might. I'll just do the third dozen bet. I'll do both. So I'm going to put twenty pence on each number. 30 to 36 if it doesn't land now ideally what I want to see now is 25 26 27 28 or 29 25 to 29 is what I want to see oh it's 30 oh, that was going to be my bet next time around well all those so it's just hit 30 now which is a little bit of a kick in the nuts so I waited for that to get to 22 we got to 21 then landed typical so well on the first dozen if it doesn't hit the first dozen That'll be the first bet. And I'll put an 80 pence bet on that first dozen. Because that's how much I've spent um, already. So I'll try and get win that back and get profit. So 1 through to 12. I don't want to miss that. Oh, it's just hit. Bloody hell, it's hitting at a value of 5. It's done it twice now. It's hitting early on on this table at the minute. As soon as I, if I drop down this tracking value from 6 down to 5, as soon as I do that, and then I start placing my bets, it's, you can guarantee it'll take longer to get my hit. So I'm going to leave it at 6. <coughs> uh, if I'm going to adjust this, this, this figure here, you want to be adjusting it and increasing it, not decreasing it. You only want to decrease it if you're doing the um, intersection bets. And if you're going to do the intersection play, game play, you want to put it on five and just wait for two, uh, wait for a dozen and a row both to reach this value or greater. So it highlights a uh, a box around four numbers. And you just do one bet on the four numbers. And if it doesn't come in, and it's still not hit, and it's still highlighted, don't bet on it again. You wait for it that to hit, and the next bet to come along for the next intersection. Okay. We're going to see zero in a minute. That's my best guess. Middle row is highlighting at a value of 5. Well, it's not highlighting. Middle row might be highlighting in a minute. I'm going to put 80 pence on that. Middle row. And that's going to be my starting bet value as well. So it's going to it's going to smash my target if I, if I land it on my first spin or my second. Right, um, so we don't want the middle row to hit on this spin. Good, nearly did. Right, here we go. Right, 80 pence. This is my first bet. So if this misses, I repeat the bet and add another 80 pence. I want to hit on this spin or the next. It has been hitting the other dozens on the fifth spin or the sixth. So let's see if it carries on that setup. If, if, if this hits, now we're getting to profit. So I've got my first target of a pound, if it, if it lands, and there you go, eight's a hit straight away, sweet. So that gives me the money back that I spent 
on the other thing and I'm actually in profit by a little bit. Um, starting balance was 30.50, I'm 31.30, so I'm 20 pence away from my target of a pound profit. So just me to make another 20 pence. And then uh, I've got my first, I've got my target, my first target of one pound. And if, you, if I found it was easy to achieve that, then I would carry on. Now, I did place the bets on the section numbers to begin with, and it wasn't hitting. Um, but it wasn't difficult. Uh, third dozen, 20 pence. Here we go. So this is this is going to take me to my target, my initial target of a, over a pound minimum. Then I'm going to continue a little bit longer, try and get a few more units out of this. Small stakes. And then, uh, yeah, try and build it up slowly. If I don't look at how much I've got in my balance, and I just play at these small stakes, I can keep this going for as long as possible, really. Um, I'd like to get it to, well, I don't know what I'd like to get it to really, but 11, number either side, would have been a hit. Repeat, double, this is the best time to hit, your second bet is always the best time to hit. So, what have we been on for? 11 minutes, I've played for 11 minutes. Sometimes you can play for so many minutes and not place a single bet and you get a little bit bored and you want to be rushing into it and to try just to try and get a hit. Especially when you're making content like I'm doing. So I might that might have an effect on how I play, which is detrimental when you're gambling or can be. Anyway, twenty five to thirty six, second bet. Thirty one is a hit. Boom. So there you go. I've now got over my profit of target of one pound so i've got 31.90 so i've got one pound 40 profit there over that one pound which is pretty good i am going to continue a little bit more because we're approaching the second dozen missing for six spins potentially so we're going to carry on a little bit further <coughs> i think i'll be comfortable with four pound 50 profit or five pounds like close close to five pounds good enough every time i play at this sort of level of stake using this tool i think that's good enough at the minute because that's over 10 percent of what i'm you know of where i'm at uh, on with my balance so i was going to do the romanovsky where i just get i just place three chips on the uh, two dozens and one chip on two corners exposing five numbers that i could lose on and i would just be making like 50 pence or uh, whatever the value is that I'm, I'm putting out there on the table um so i was going to do that for a few spins because if i'm only looking to make small amounts of return which is what i'm doing at the minute it may make sense to do that, but it only takes one losing bet to put you in a whole heap of trouble, Bill. So you don't want to be doing that. That's what the negative side of that is, really. You're just losing on when you're covering a lot of numbers, and it's costing you a lot of money. It just takes it. It makes it more difficult to get back up to money back, doesn't it? That's kind of the uh, that's the rub, isn't it? So that's what you want to be being aware of. Where's that zero? Oue, the zero. So top row's not hit for five. So if the top row misses on this spin, that'll be my next bet. And I'm going to be playing at 20 pence. 20 pence is, is enough, because if I'm looking just to make a pound, um, or, um, if I get two wins at 20 pence, or three, two or three wins at 20 pence will do it. I could do 30 pence. On the two. In fact, I will do 30 pence actually. Give that a go. As I've not played at 30 pence yet. 30 pence, top roll. Let's see if I can get a win.
see if we can get a win straight away. So any top row number. Let's see if uh, number two goes to 24. Or 20, 24, 21 or 24. Let's see. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33 or 36. 32. 15 would have been good. So I'm going to repeat. And double. So I'm at 60 pence now. 60 pence. I'm on the top row. Second bet. So at some point, one of these dozens is going to take a while before it's going to take. It's going to miss a few times before it lands. And this is when the, the change of the game, the way the change game will change, you'll see it. It'll just take longer. <coughs> you go like, what's going on here? So top row number, second bet, and it's seventeen, which is a middle row number. So, repeat the bet, and add one, two, three, so now I'm at 90 pence, this is my third bet, this could be the start of the um, lengthy periods of not hitting. So, <coughs> third bet inbound, so we want to be hitting within four bet placements on this setup. Uh, if you find it's taking a long time to get your hit, you can increase this tracking value, increase that by a couple of clicks. It might take longer to, for a section to highlight, but um, yeah, it might be worth it. Okay, repeat and add three, one, two, three. So there we go, one pounds twenty. Fourth bet. So I want it to hit now, because this is my fourth bet. And if this lands, I might think about stopping actually, as it's been long enough. I've played for long enough just to make a little bit of money. That's a good point to stop at if it lands. And it hasn't, so I've got an option now to repeat the bet and add two lots of chips, which is what I'm going to do. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now. I'm at pound eighty. So if this misses, I'll have to add 90 pence, which is three times the chip value that I've started with. So this is the fifth bet now, the fifth bet. This is where I don't want to be, be at. This is like uncomfortable now. Fifth bet. I want to see it hit. don't want to see a repeat 19. 36, there we go. We've had the hit. We've got a dealer change. Got a bit of a win, 32.50 now. So I'm two pound. I'm two pounds up at this point, which is not a massive amount, but that did go to the the fifth bet. So knowing that information, instead of starting to bet at a value of six when it highlights in that top row, I'm going to highlight. I'm going to bet at a value of seven. I'm not going to change that. I'm just going to mentally note that. But that took me five bets, which is one bet too many really because i'm i get uncomfortable when it's at that value because it could easily go six seven eight and before you know it you've lost you know you're chasing and you're losing and you're giving bigger bets and you're getting in a bit of a yeah getting in chase mode you don't want to be doing that so i'll just give it a few more bets with this new dealer see what happens so on a change of dealer normally i'll bet on zero neighbors because previous dealer the last number she spun was 36 which is nowhere near zero and um, that would be my first loss in 18 so 12 through to 4 I would be betting on normally on this setup that was one off as well so that would have been one away from a hit so the middle rows on five I'll bet on the middle row on six it's just the top row I'm not gonna bet in on betting on six So I'll do 30 pence start, 30 pence uh, betting value on the tables now, that's what my minimum is going to be. She's like 10% of my balance pretty much. And then if I get to 40 pence, uh, 40 quid, I'll get to, uh, if I get to 40 pound in the balance, I'll go to 40 pence per bet. There you go, 35, zero neighbours. 
Um, so that would have been a hit on my one, two, third bet. That would have given me profit. So we've got a value of um, five on the first dozen here. So it's probably going to hit 30 or 23, at a guess. 30, 23, 24. Potentially on this spin, then I'm going to go cover the first dozen with 30 pence. So I want to see 30, 23 or 24. Nope. Number three. I didn't want to see three. Okay. Bottom rolls on five. Bottom rolls on five. I'm going to try and tip this balance to um, £34.50. That's £4 profit. I want to try and get to 35 ideally, but if I get to 34 54.50 is alright. But I've been on this for 20 minutes now. 20 minutes just um, waiting for betting opportunities. Oh, it's just taking a long time, you see. It's taking a long time. This is where people can get, you know, impatient and blow the door. Right, bottom roll. One, two, three. So 30 pence, because I'm at 30 pounds. So if I'm at 30, in the, anything in the 30s, I'm going to start with 30 pence. Anything in the 40s, 40 pence. 50s, 50 pence. Um, I'll probably go as high as 50, that's it. I might even bring it back down, depending on how the table's playing. Anyway, this is the first bet for the bottom row. 1, 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, 19, 22, 25, 28, 31, 34. This will give me 60 pence profit if it lands on this first spin. Nine is a miss. I repeat to the bet. Repeat. Double up. Now this is a 60 pence bet. This is my second bet. So before, when the top row missed for... Uh, it hit on the fifth bet. This might hit on the fifth bet as well. <coughs> so I've got to be aware of that. And if it happens twice like that, uh, normally the next time around it, it hits sooner, but it could go off again. So you've got to be careful and mindful of, uh, you know, and it could go on a bit of a journey where it doesn't hit for a while. Second bet, bottom row. For... Two, uh, come on, repeat the bet, and add three chips. One, two, three, so 90 pence. This is now my third bet. I want to be hitting within four bet placements, ideally. That's my comfortable zone. When it gets to my fifth bet, I'm uncomfortable. Fifth or sixth bet, uncomfortable. So we've got the bottom roll, third bet. Looking for 1, 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, 19, 22, 25, 28, 31, 34. Hopefully it's going to be 4 or 19. It's popping that middle row for fun. Repeat. Out of chips. 1, 2, 3. So this is now my fourth bet. My fourth bet now. So this is going like the same. That This is... Go reacting exactly the same as the top row before so the top row hit on the fifth bet this is on the fourth bet now on the bottom row so if this misses i'll be on my fifth bet and my fifth bet i'll be adding 60 pence which is two lots of 30 pences which is too much really but um i want to hit now ideally hit on this fourth bet four 17 wow middle rolls on fire We've got an intersection, I'm not going to play that, although should I? Uh, repeat the bet. Two, three, one, two, three. So I'm at the same position as I was when this top row hit. So I'm just doing the bottom row here, I'm not doing the intersection on 25, 28, 31, 34. If they land, they land. But this is now my fifth bet. <coughs> A value of 10. It's not hit for 10 spins last since it last hit 19. It hit 19, and for 10 spins, it's not hit this bottom row. But it could go higher than that. But this is my fifth bet. Fifth bet. If this misses, I'll have to add 90 pence if I want to continue. Wow. And it's quite high, that. Um, we'll repeat. Five. 
There we go. So £2.70 down at 25. This is now my sixth and final bet. Chasing this section. This um this bottom row. This is costing me too much now. So this is now my sixth bet, which is far too many bets. But it, it normally hits on this one if it hasn't hit already. That's why I'm placing the bet. And it has number 16 swint. So I got my hit, but I did not enjoy that. Again, that was not enjoyable. So we're on eight already on the third dozen. So we can jump on this third dozen. 30 pen. So because that's on a higher value than the six, this could be, this is better for me. So I am I am actually two steps ahead. So instead of increasing this to eight to start betting at, it's already, I'm already betting at that level anyway. So we might have a chance of hitting this one within a few spins, within within the four bets. This is bet one, 25 to 36. Oh, nearly. Now this is bet number two, so repeat, double, 60 pence. So this is second bet, second bet for the third dozen. I think this is going to land within four bets because we started betting at a value of eight and not six. So we're two steps ahead, which is good. If these if these values are going quite high, like the bottom row did and the top row did, then this makes sense for this third dozen. Starting later when I'm placing my bets, which is what I'm effectively doing at the minute. So, second bet, third dozen, 25 to 36. Oh, that was naughty. Repeat, and add three chips. One, two, three, so 90 pence. This is my third bet. Third bet coming up. <coughs> this, is, this is kind of hard work. I would deem this as being difficult, this table at the minute. So I would looking for I'd probably be looking for other opportunities that I could bet on, maybe outside bets or two dozens rather than just the one. But um this is my third bet for twenty-five to thirty-six. Third dozen. And it's twenty-one, it's just not hitting. It's not firing, is it? Repeat and add three chips. One, two, three. So it's it's playing the game where I'm having to I'm having to have four bets minimum. I'm having to give the table some money before it gives it me back. So this is now my fourth bet. This is where I want to hit. If this misses, then I'm going to add 60 pence to that third dozen. So that'll be my fifth bet. So this is my fourth. This is where I want to really hit. 25 to 36. This is my comfort zone, this one. And it's missed again. Wow. It's just not playing, is it? Repeat. Now add... Um, 20, 40, 60. So I've just added, this is now my fifth bet. I'm on my fifth bet already. And I started at a later value. I started at a value of eight, not six. So I'm already two steps ahead in terms of betting, you know. But I'm still at a, a value of five. So this is my fifth bet. So it's, you know, it's definitely not playing my game. So if this lands, I'm going to stop and come back later. So this is the fifth bet, 25 to 36. And it's number 20. Now repeat and add uh, 20, 40, 60, 20, 10. This is now my sixth bet. So this is the highest I've been trying to get a hit on a third dozen number. This is matching the bottom row because that went to a value of six. That went to, top went to a value of five and hit. Bottom went to a value of six and hit. Third dozen's at a value of six now. So this is my sixth bet, 25 to 36. 31 has landed, but that took far too many bets. Far too many bets. Far, far, far too many. So that was six, wasn't it? So if I now increase this six, value of six here, to that was an eight. It started at eight on that and it went to a value of six. So I would I would need to track at least a value of um, one, two, three, um, eleven before I start placing a bet. But then we're waiting then 
waiting for um, any dozen or any roll to miss for 11 spins. So I'd be looking for other opportunities where I could potentially pinch a few units um, using this tool. So I'll be looking at the outside bets, the highest value on the outside, so red. Looking for patterns and all that kind of stuff. And see if I can uh, break a pattern or something or like Joe Creepier does on his channel on YouTube. Um, but yeah, a bit of, bit of lag. But £33.70, it's taken too long this. Half an hour's play, 33.70. If I get to 34.50, make £4. I'll be comfortable with that value of stopping, but this is just um, definitely difficult. Not many low numbers there. So I'd say low numbers. Let's just go with a low number here. I'll start at 50 pence and low. And I'll do the, yeah, I'll just do the low numbers just to make 50 pence. If I can hit on my first spin. If this misses, I'll be martingale in this. So 1 through to 18 is the bet. I'm hoping it's going to be 14 or 5. 1 through to 18 is the bet. Ten's good. That's another 50 pence. So I'm going to get one more win. Or try to. So I'll do these two dozens here. Because they're the highest two values, four and six, so we'll jump on both of those. Middle has been hitting for fun, so we could hit that. And ten was the last number. Ten likes to go to twenty-one, uh, three, uh, twenty-four, twenty-three. We've got all the numbers there, really. So this should hit, and this will be a stop if it does. Twenty-eight's a hit. Oh, it's not. It's a miss. It's a miss. Twenty-eight's a miss. So that cost me too much money there. So <coughs> now what I'm going to be doing is that was a pound, wasn't it? And that was 28. So I'm going to put two pound on the a low again because I think it's going to go back down to low numbers. So 28. I'm looking for 12 here. 12 or 13 from 28 or 7. 7, 12, 13 from 28 potentially, but any number between 1 and 18 would be good. It's 27, that was naughty. Okay, now it's costing me a little bit, isn't it? We don't like that. We do not like that. We're going to set middle row. What do I need? That'll give me 450. Let's go for £2 middle row, that'll do it. So I'm going for middle row. Um, any any number in that middle roll to hit. Middle roll has been hitting. Don't want to see zero. 32 is good. 32 is good. And if this lands, it's definitely a stop. This will give me six pounds return. Or six quid. Yeah, six return if it lands. 23 is good. That has landed. That'll do for me. Right, so I've got 35 pounds 20. That's more comfortable to stop at. So, yeah, I am going to stop there. That was hard work. So... 35.2, just made £4.70, I'll take that, um, my target was £1, you get to £1 first just to see how that, how it gets there and then you can carry on and try and make a little bit extra, that was session number 6, I'm going to set it up for session number 7 for later, I'll be back later and do another recording but I'm £30 and 20 pence up from a £5 deposit and that was session 6, slowly building my balance, I'm at 35.20 made £4.70 on this session. It took me 33 minutes, but, you know, I'm slowly building my balance and it's working. So I use the missing section roulette tool to help me navigate where to place my bets. And yeah, if you want to know more about this tool, just send me a tweet on Twitter and I'll reply with the website where you can gain access to the tools. Thanks again for your time. See you later.